everyone wants to be happy, filled with joy or at least satisfied with the life they live in. Disclaimer. I am not about to preach anything but I am here to just state some observations that I have made, read, seen and experienced over the years. The points that I state are not researched or have any evidence proving it to be an ultimate formula to happiness. They are just some lifestyle growth pointers that may help you with a happy mindset. Let's begin with taking the literal definition of happiness straight from Google. Happy or happiness is stated as a feeling and is an adjective. Adjective and feelings change when the statement or situation changes. So, how do we expect to have a life filled with joy? How do we be happy? First step to getting a little happy is accepting the things, situations or even life that is happening around you. Accept that you cannot always control everything or everyone. Accept that life will be full of ups, downs, disappointments and heartbreaks. Accept your nagging parents. Accept your overly annoying boss. Accept your overprotective friends. Just accept it is what it is. Most importantly, accept yourself. Accepting things is a first step to a positive mindset and gratitude. There are things in this world that you can control and there are things that you cannot control. So accept the things that you cannot control and don't spend too much time overthinking it. Belief in something does wonders for you. Belief in something higher than you or within you is very powerful. When you believe in something, you develop a sense of confidence within you to achieve a certain something. Believe and have faith in you. Believe in your talent, believe in your education, believe in your intentions. Just believe and have faith. If you believe that you are a talented person, believing and having faith in your talent not only gives you the confidence to move ahead, but gives you the confidence to face any adversity and helps you grow through it and learn from it. We should feel grateful towards not only the bigger things in life, but very menial things as well. For example, we should be grateful for just waking up in the morning and be able to have the means to brush our teeth and have breakfast. Everyone is grateful for a great job, a good income, a good partner and so on. But be grateful even when you don't have a great job, a good income or a good partner or no partner at all. Be thankful and be grateful for little things. When you are grateful and thankful for everything in life, it automatically gets you to realize the blessings in our lives. Being grateful for bigger things in life makes you appreciate it and makes you work hard to keep it. Being grateful for little things in life brings your attention towards the more small and ordinary things in life. It teaches you to appreciate the small blessings and humbles you. Having gratitude towards small things has a tremendous effect on our happiness. When you learn to be grateful for little things in life, the biggest disappointments don't seem to matter that much. Imagine one day you are sitting at home. There is nothing to do. You are alone. There is no work bothering you. There is no one on the door constantly to distract you. There is absolutely nothing in the world to do than for you to sit at home. What would you do? When you isolate yourself, your mind wanders towards the simple things in life. Firstly, you have the time to appreciate the work that you have been doing, the job that you have. Then, you find joy in surroundings around you, your home, the small things that you have in your home. Then your mind wanders to much more ordinary things but the most important ones, your existence. You start wondering and questioning your whys and hows, morals, etc. When you are out of the isolation, you come to a realization of peacefulness and bliss that you experience. Suddenly or slowly, there is a shift in your perception, which gradually shifts your view towards life. Finding joy in little things and even unfortunate things helps you to stay and attract positivity in life. Having a constant negative perception towards life and not finding joy in anything at all 
makes your perception towards life negative and drains you emotionally, physically, mentally and spiritually. Agreed. Staying happy and positive in every passing moment of our life is not practical and possible. But staying negative and draining yourself is also not the answer. Life gets you down and sometimes it is pretty harsh. But you have to stay with your perception of this too shall pass. You define your happiness in those harsh life moments. And always remember the definition of happiness. And I promise nothing can ever bring you down.